Hi everyone, it's Melody Lane, and I'm gonna show you how to create this in Cricut Design Space. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. Okay, it's all cut, and let's take it off the mat, see what it looks like. This is my very first cut like this. I was test cutting it. You have to be really careful. I like to put my spatula in here and kind of turn my wrist a little. There. That is so cool. My mat looks pretty too but I'm gonna have to scrape that off. Now, we're not done yet. Let's just see what it looks like on some digital paper that I printed. This is from my Sherry set. That is really pretty. I love it, but I think I'm gonna like this one even better. This is from my Fairy set. It's not released yet. <gasps> pretty, so pretty. Let's see if it fits this way. Yes, it does. See, I can just cut this and put behind it. I could do it this way, or I could do it this way. I like it better this way because my name is in purple. Oh my gosh. I know I'm not gonna be able to decide. But we're not done with this yet. Let me show you how to fold these up. I'm just gonna use my spatula for you. You can bend these flowers up so it's more 3D. And the butterflies kind of hold one side and bend the other side up. Can you see? And even these little flowers. see the difference and these poking up and the side which I haven't done yet how cool is that now for the people who support me on patreon I share all my files so I'll be sharing this file without my name so you can add your own and I'll be showing you how to create this all for yourself. I have a video I will link up here. The split butterfly video shows you how to make the butterflies. And then in that video, there's also an eye card. That's the little eye up here for a video on how to make all the flowers. So I'm not going to show you how to make the flowers and the things in this video. I will show you how you place them on to look like a letter and these hearts and diamonds and stars, these stars, not that one, are just basic shapes. Well, they're all basic shapes that are completely free. I'll show you how I created some of the butterflies and flowers, and from that video, you can create anything. Let me show you some other papers you can use. Look at all these. George and I have accumulated a lot of these. We found these on clearance at Joann's like last year, so it was quite a while ago. This is a sneak peek at a new set coming out. But let's see what this looks like on these papers. That's really pretty on there. Snowflakes, pink hearts. Aren't they cute? My favorite color, purple, and I love circles. Blue. Look at how cool it is. And you can do this in white paper or any color paper you like. You can put this in a frame. You can put it in a shadow box. Love this one. And then there's just glitter paper. There's just purple. It's kind of like mirror paper. Pink. 
And then uh, this one's cool. You just have to look for these at the craft store. I think I still like this one best. And I can do it this way. Is that not cool? Love it! Can do it this way. Love this, love this, love this. Alright guys, now let's go check it out in Cricut Design Space. Let me show you how to make it. It's really not too hard. It's kind of easy, but it takes a lot of time. But if you're a Patreon supporter, I give you all of these little images in a file and you can choose which ones you want so you can make it yourself without having to make all of these images yourself. And it's free. Okay, now this is the file that I'm going to share with the people who support me on Patreon. They're already got the little things there so they won't cut completely out. These will. I created all of these from insert shapes. Just the basic shapes all right here. I have more videos that show you how to create shapes like this. Like this flower right here. This one was created from a heart. From the bottom of the heart, the point of the heart, from two hearts together, and I sliced them to make this little image, and then I just put these all in a circle. The butterflies were also made from hearts. This, of course, is made from stars. I'll show you how I did the letters, and it's kind of the same way I did these stars. So keep watching, and I will show that to you. The letter that I used was just an aerial black letter. Let's do a J, because somebody wanted me to do a J for them. I may try to do the whole alphabet for the people who support me on Patreon, but it might take a while. And we're going to change this to, I'm going to go to system fonts. I'm going to use Arial Black. Arial Black, I think is, Arial Black, I think is a font that about everybody has. I know everyone has Arial. Arial Black is just a little thicker. So let's make this the size we want. I think I want to make the height about seven inches. Mm, let's do 7.5. Okay, now I have all these images here, but I don't want to use these. I want to duplicate them. I'm going to select all of these and go to my layers panel and duplicate. And I'm going to bring them down here. Let's move this to the back and I'm going to duplicate these again. And you can choose which ones of these you want to put on. And you can put them on and you can turn them. Like, let's do this. We can turn it this way if we want or any way we want. Um, I kind of like to do the bigger images first. I think we need some more flowers. And you can resize these to be as big as you like. So now I'm kind of just placing some of these around. And you want to fill up the space. And let's duplicate that. Make one a little bigger. Okay, I'm going to grab these and duplicate them. So we're going to need a lot of them. And we want to make sure we kind of go around the edge so we know it's shaped like a J. And once I have some of these placed, some of the bigger ones place where I want them. Then I start placing the little ones around the edge. And it just depends on how much you want to see through. You could also make a flower with this. Let me go ahead and make a little flower and add it to the file. Does it look like a flower? Sure it does. Let's weld that. Oh, 
oh, we need to duplicate. Move one up here. Shrink that down. We want to make sure this is starting to look like a J. So what we do is select this and click on that. And you can start to see the shape coming out here. So let's click that back. Let's throw some of these in here. And you could even put like one of these diamonds inside that butterfly. This one already comes with that, but you could add one here if you like. Let's do a star. I need some circles. And if you want to look at it, just click the J. Yeah. It's starting to look like a J. you follow along the edge, it'll look more like your shape. And we just got a few more to do. How's that look? I think we need something here. And maybe a tiny circle. Let's duplicate. Need a little diamond right here on its side. Oh, about there. Ooh, let's do that again. Over here. Okay, let's hide the J. We have it at the bottom, so it's there. Oh, that looks awesome. So now, how do we get it to cut out? Because when we hit go, there's just going to be a huge page of all these. It's not going to stay as the J. There's a few things you can do. You can select them all and click attach. Now when you hit go, they will stay on the page as attach. I think we're done. So I am going to just grab all this stuff and delete it. I'm keeping these at the top. If you want to slice this through the paper, you have to weld it. Once you weld, you cannot unload. That's kind of why I like to attach. But then there's also the problem of the shockwave because there are so many images. So I want you to be aware of that. I get the shockwave, look at all these images, and I just wait. When I share my files, I'm going to share them as only being attached so they can detach and move some pieces out and add some other pieces. Unless there's a problem with that, then I will weld them because I think they do work better welded. And then I like to keep these here. I don't want to delete these in case I want to make other letters or switch them out or anything. But you can delete these if you keep just the file of these. For now, I'm just going to hide all of these and you just click on them and it'll come up over here. And the diamonds. Okay, so now all we have is this. If we hit go, here it is at the top. You can move it wherever you want. But what I like to do is add another image. So we're gonna go to basic shape and square 
And I'm gonna unlock the square by clicking the little lock and dragging this, but I want it behind it. Let's change the color just so we can see it better. Now, if you want a name at the bottom, you can make it longer and add a name. So for this one, I would put a name that started with a J, but I wanna show you how to create the letters so the middle of the letters will stay in. I'm gonna type in my name and just show you how to do this. Okay, we need to insert a basic shape and a square, unlock it, and make it really thin. Let's see what size this is. The width is 0 0.07. I'm going to duplicate this three times because I have three letters that need the middles. You see what I mean? If I cut this out, this middle piece will also be cut out. This will just be a big circle because that won't stay unless you're cutting this out in vinyl, but in paper, it won't stay. Make that a little shorter. Okay, let's move this up and be right next to the edge of that E. Okay. I'm gonna put it right above there. Move that up. And then I have this selected. I'm going to hit the command key or the control key on a PC and click the word. And then we're going to slice. And then we're going to just pull these out until we have the blank piece. See, we're not done yet. We still have got to click right on those. I'll just move that out of the way there. So now we need to do it for the O. I'm going to make these a little thinner. 0.5. I'm just eyeballing it, trying to get it in the middle of the O. I'm going to select the stick, select the word, click on the layers, and click slice. With this, and what I'm going to do with the D, I'm going to move it over the edge of this so I can keep most of this angle here. I'm going to make this stick a little shorter. You can do it any way you want to. So we have the selected, I'm gonna hit my command key and click the word and click slice. There, now when it cuts, this part will not cut out. We'll still have the inside of the letters. And you can do that with a B, an A, and all those letters that have a little inner part. And then you would put this down here and you could attach it because Melody doesn't work. Melody just doesn't go with the J. I'm just going to select that and select the box and I'm going to align. I'm not gonna completely center it because I want enough room at the bottom to put a let word. You don't have to, only if you want to. I'm going to center horizontally. I'm going to select it all and click attach. So now all these little pieces will cut out. Even though you can't see them out now, it's what they will do. Let's undo and let me show you how it looks when we weld and slice. Once you weld, you cannot unweld. So we have this selected and I'm going to click weld. I can undo. So now after it's welded, it changes all to one image like this. And I can select it all and I can slice. So now I can pull out this and pull out that, and then I have this. And now you can see the little lines through it that it's see-through. Let's insert a shape, move this to the back, and you can put any paper behind it, just like I showed you in the beginning of the video. And then you just fold these pieces up. And you do the same thing with the name. Once you get the name down here, you can also slice that through. You just select the name in the background and click slice. So if you've learned something from this video, please click like. I really appreciate it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video and subscribing and liking. I appreciate all of you. And here's a shout out to a few of the people who already support me on Patreon. Carol, Shannon, Tracy, Bibi, Selena, Cindy, Tracy, Joy, Sue Ann, Melissa, Janet, Stephanie, Lydia, Jeannie, Deborah, Christy, Judy, Mary, Kristen, Elizabeth, Patricia, Nancy, Michelle, Becky, Margie, and Bonnie. And Chris by two. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Don't you have a video to go do, George? Maybe. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time.